How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Professor Layton. I want to finally check out the bonuses, since I'm actually remembering to do it this time. Because I know there's at least one thing that I've unlocked, this file, for, uh, I guess it was for finishing the dog or whatever it was. I don't know. Weekly puzzle. I didn't know that was a thing. But, uh, Layton's challenges, that's what it is. Yeah, it was for the dog. And now the phone's, phone's ringing. Stop it! Okay, it stopped. Looks like we're gonna get one probably just for beating the game, one for probably finishing all the puzzles, one for the painting, and one for the uh, the inn. So let's do the one that uh, that Goddard got us. Oh, there's three. Okay. I guess we're gonna do these then before we get back into the actual game, just to do them. So why not? Do give this puzzle a try. Hopefully these are good ones. The last few that I've done I haven't been into because I'm, I'm not as good at the- oh god, 60? What the hell? Oh no. No! <laughs> Why? Uh, from the measurements shown on the diagram, can you calculate what fraction of the flag's total- No, I can't. <laughs> Jesus. Are you kidding me with this? Again with calculate the total area. I don't want to do that, though. What's wrong with riddles and brain teasers? Why do I have to get area puzzles? Math. <sighs> Your answer will be the denominator for a fraction in 1 over x form? Excuse me? <laughs> Don't complicate things by bringing trigonometry into the mix. Oh! Thanks for the tip, because I was totally gonna do that. I literally have never taken trigonometry in my life. I took pre-calculus in my senior year of high school, and then that was the end of that thing. That was the end of my education. So, fuck is trigonometry even? <laughs> uh, what is the area... Okay, the, the fraction of the flag's total area represented by the diamond in the middle. Man! And I have to actually <laughs> use my hint coins on these. I don't get, like, separate hint coins, because these are separate from the main game. At least I have 40. I keep getting more hint coins and being surprised at how many I have. That's a good thing, at least. Man, I don't fucking know, dude. Dividing up the flag. Split the flag into four equally sized rectangles by drawing a vertical line and a horizontal line through the middle of the flag. This will divide the diamond into quarters as well. True. I mean, yeah, look at that. Yay. I don't know. Hint. These smaller rectangles can actually be broken down into force again. Be careful when calculating the length for each side. Is each small rectangle really 30 by 20? Is it? Couldn't tell you, man. So look at, look at this artistic prowess. Oh yeah. Boom. Check it out. So basically, so you got like the, the little part of the diamond there. And then like it would fit into like each quadrant eight eight times. But it's like, oh, is each side really 30 by 20? I mean, you know. So. I mean, it's saying that that's 120 across. So that's 60. So that should be 30 right there, the, the horizontal. That's 80, 20, 20, so that should be 40, so each one of those should be 20. That should be 30 by 20, why, why wouldn't it be? What are you trying to say, game? Give me the last hint. When you divide the small rectangles into fourths, you will end up including a portion of the diamond in one of the smallest rectangles. What fraction of the rectangle's area does that sli size of the diamond represent? Jesus Christ, man. I'm uh, I hate I hate it. I hate it. But the, the fraction is one eighth, because like I said, when you have them in, uh, when you do, when I do like what I did, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you, you get it, is one eighth. So is that the answer? Because it says figure that out and you're a step away from the solution. But I feel like that's just the answer. Is it one eighth? Fuck it. So eight. If so, I'm not a step away from the answer. You basically gave it to me. Well, here's my guess. Nobody wants puzzles like that. Maybe some people do. But man, 3,000. Wow. Man, I... I uh, give me the ones, like, about moving the wolves and the, the sheep or whatever to the other side of the river all you want. Stop giving me ones where I've got to think about shapes and numbers. <laughs> the next die. All right, that one sounds like it might be better. Like a pattern of, of die and, like, figure out which one would be next. Are they all going to be 60? They're all going to be tough? Oh, dear. Okay. The three and six dotted sides of several dice are lined up to end-to-end to, end to form a particular pattern. 
Which of the three options below should go next in order to continue? See, this is more my speed. Not totally, but better than the last one. So, and I got three choices. I can't even go wrong. I'll have to get it right eventually. So, um, all right. Oh, we got, I mean, the, the direction that the threes are facing is probably important. So far in that pattern, there were never two sixes in a row, nor were there ever a, a six going vertically. But you've got the threes touching tips, you know? And then there's a six, and then the three goes the opposite direction. There's a six again, but then there's a three going the same direction as that last three. So you would think, like how there's, right there, there's those two threes. The one, two, three, four, fifth th dice, and then the seventh. The threes are going in the same direction. You would think that then the next three would go in the same direction as that other one, but that's not an option. I feel like saying it's the three is too obvious, because there were no sixes. I mean, there, w there was never a six that was vertical, so I don't know why it would be that. There's also never a six, two sixes in a row. So I don't know why it would be that either. But I think the three is too obvious, so I'm gonna get a hint. I don't wanna get too many hints, it's just a three, you know, there's three choices. I I'll, I'll lose some picarats, it's fine. Anyway, examine the dice and try to find a reason or method for their orientation. You might think the dice's arrangement has to do with the total number of dots. This puzzle is far more simple than that. Pay attention to the way the dots on the dice line up. That's what I was looking at. I was definitely looking at the direction they're going, but like, what is, what does any of that mean? You know, um, uh, look at the way the dots are lined up. See how there are three rows of dots stacked on top of one another? One of those rows holds the key to this puzzle. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's called a six. <laughs> um, what's your point? I see it. It's a six. I mean... Uh... Shit, man. <laughs> the dots on the dice form three rows. Maybe I should do the game first. Maybe I should play the rest of the game before I do any more of these challenging puzzles, because I gotta save my hint coins for the actual game. <laughs> uh, the dots on the dice form three rows that are stacked on top of each other. What? You need to focus on what's going on in the top row. Scan the row from the left to the right. You notice anything going on. Okay, I guess they do. Technically, yes. So if I'm looking at the top row, left, right, left, all three, right, all three, right, all three, left, all three. What the fuck with these puzzles, man? Scan the top row. That's what it said. What's going on in the top row? Do I notice anything going on? No. <laughs> I don't. Uh... What the fuck are you talking about? I don't at all, actually. So... Fuck it. A. I think I've got it! Son of a bitch. I shouldn't have even used- I wasted three hint coins. Wasted them. Shouldn't have even tried. Should have just guessed from the start. These puzzles are obnoxious. 54, I'll take it. C this time. How does this sound? Better sound good. Thank you. Please, tell me why. I'm- I, I'm dying to know. What the fuck is it? If you look at the dots on the dice as three rows stacked on top of each other, you can see that there is a trend of the top row dots. Zero, 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 zero. You know what? I guess, yeah, that's true. There was one, then there's two, then there's three, then there's four, then... Well, well, you know what? I'm not a fucking it rocket scientist, so I don't, I don't know. I don't, uh, tons of triangles. Oh, sounds delightful. I might as well do it since we're already here. All the rest of them I'll do way later, but my god, man. <laughs> my best try is gonna be garbage. How many picarats do I, do I... Like, am I good with the amount that I have? 
Can I just not waste any more hint coins and just sacrifice my picarats? Oh, is this how many triangles? I could do something like that. It's not even that big. It's not even like that crazy. It's actually a fairly seem like it'd be a simple one. All right, we got one, of course, right there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we got okay. I gotta make sure I <sighs> I do this right here. That would be nine. It's gonna be hard to keep track of which ones I have or haven't done, because it'd be kind of hard to also leave the drawings there, because they'd get in the way of each other. Ten. Eleven. It's twelve. It's Thirteen. Uh... See, I already forgot if I said certain ones or not. Shit. <laughs> Let's try this again. Of course, as just basically, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, starting with eight. Then we'll get into the more complicated ones. One, right, like right there. Two, if you go further, so that's ten. Uh, that would be eleven, twelve. Hope you know what I'm getting at here. This one's thirteen, fourteen, um, fifteen, sixteen. That's really, I can't tell what's happening anymore. This is the best of the three, though. This is definitely the my favorite of the three. I'm at six... It, it's, it can't be one of those where the answer's like 80, because it's not that big of a triangle. It's got to be close to what I'm at now. Um, oh, I don't think I did that one yet. 17. That seems like it's it. So, 17. Oh my god, one that I could actually figure out on my own. Holy shit, man. Oh, now let's get back to the actual game. Everything in the game should hopefully be a walk in the park compared to that nonsense. Whoo! Yay! Give me a good reward. No? Okay, thanks. Goddamn. <laughs> let's get back to the game. Continue. I will be relieved to get back there. We found that crazy room and it's like, what the hell's going on? And we got a key and we gotta go back to the dead end to get to the clock tower. Yeah, whenever you start up the game, it does this story so far thing. It's pretty nifty. I just let you guys see it since I've never shown that before. Is there anything else going on in this room? I mean, uh, just in case. Oh yes, please give me a hint coin back. I, I definitely need it. Oh, or a puzzle. Does he sniff out puzzles too? Or is, is there also a hint coin somewhere near there? I guess we'll find out after I do the puzzle. I'll keep looking for a coin. Don't be a, like, uh, well, I was gonna say be like a 10. Just give me a little break from what I've been doing. The large shape below is made up of a pattern. A section of the shape has been removed. Of the options A, B, C, and D, which one should you insert into the large shape to complete the pattern? Alright. That's, uh, probably a little simpler than the dice one, I guess. Okay, well, let's look at this pattern. You don't have any of them ever next to each other. You've got the X's forming diagonal... Well, actually, they all are. They're all forming diagonal lines going uh, left to right. So that should be pretty simple, wouldn't you think? The top one needs to be... Except... Hold on. Only one of them is the actual shape that is there. Am I supposed to flip them? Because with the... uh Because B is the only one that is the correct shape. Am I supposed to rearrange them in my head? I mean, like... It doesn't say anything about that. And maybe it would say that in the hints, but... That does... Like... They would... That doesn't make any sense. Like, why... B is the only one that is the shape that that's missing there. But there's no way that that would be the answer, because... Why would they do that? It just makes it immediately obvious that... Dude. Luke I honestly want to save tin coins over Picarats at this point. And I got it right anyway. Like, was it actually as simple as I, as I thought it was? Or was there something more to it? Finding the right matching pattern. Just starting at all those different pieces. Is it more complex? I mean, that was the... 
I feel like there was a massive oversight when they made that puzzle. Like, did they realize that, that was the only one that was shaped like the piece that was missing? I'm so confused. That was so easy when it, I don't think it was supposed to be. But okay. I, 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 maybe that's part of the story? Because <laughs> Luke's like, I didn't think it was that easy. Maybe the joke is that he thought he made a puzzle thinking it was hard, but he's stupid, so it was actually easy? Is that the joke? Like, <laughs> uh, fuck, man. I Didn't I give Luke the tea? Oh, no, I gave a, I definitely gave Leighton the tea. I have the teacup. So is there a hint point around here? No! Okay. It doesn't seem to be. It seems like he points out puzzles in addition to hint coins. I did not know that. But Leighton, let me uh, let me ask you a question. You got your tea. You definitely need that tea cup, right? Oh yeah. You don't want it, right? Yeah. It's for you. Why does her happiness not seem to be moving? God damn it. What does it take for me to make you guys happy? Anything else in the room? Anything else at all before I leave here? Because we're probably not coming back. All right. Oh, okay, well, there still is something. It's a little lower this time. Coin, there we go. Thank you, got it. All right, I guess we're going to head back to that dead end and use the key. kind of want to go back to the sewer at some point and uh, check the left because we never went there. But maybe we'll be able to do that in time. Maybe there will be a time to go back there. I don't know. But for now, I think I'll just go ahead and cut to, to when I'm back at the dead end. Or not, because we've got conversation. Let's make a quick stop by the inn. There's something I need to check on there. Why in the inn, Professor? It seems that someone doesn't want us around, Luke. Someone is, in fact, after us. Key to identifying the scoundrels back at the inn. So you already have an idea about who's behind this. Haha, piqued your interest, have I? Alright, to the inn. Chapter 8, The Shadowy Intruder. Indeed. Yeah, we'll go ahead and save. This guy who's been in the shadows this whole time, sending Ferris wheels and whatnot after us. Uh, okay, yeah, the inn is in the main. Nope, wrong direction. It's the one with the giant sign that says "In." That's the one that I definitely can't forget. What's up? Hello, Professor. Is something the matter? You look a little shaken. Beatrice, I have an urgent request. Could you show me the newspapers from the last couple of days? The papers? Certainly. Hang on for just a moment while I go fetch them for you. That's strange. I'm sure I set them down around here somewhere. Is there a problem? I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I can't seem to find them anywhere. Even today's morning, paper seems to have gone missing. Hmm. I see. Well, thank you just the same, Beatrice. This has been most helpful. Just what was in those papers anyway, Professor? Oh, hello. Yoo-hoo, Professor Layton! Raymond, and to what do we owe this visit? Oh, he told me I needed to find you and bring you to Reinhold Manor. The inspector, I mean. Hoo-hoo-hoo! He and Lady Dahlia await your arrival at Reinhold Manor. Thank you for the message. We will set out for the manor in just a few moments. If Chelmy's the one who wanted me to come, then I will absolutely not. I don't- I- fuck him. I'm not gonna do it. Anyway. I was- I gotta go to the dead end. That's more important. I don't fucking give a shit about what Chelmy wants. Whoa, hello. You found the key to the tower, haven't you? How do you know about the key? You mustn't interfere with the tower, whatever you do. Just stay away from there. Interfere? What do you mean by that, dear? What could it be? A mysterious girl reappears once again. Oh well, 